Hey everybody, it's Chuck Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario 64 DS. In the last episode, I like how I'm crawling there during my intro. In the last episode, we finished things up at TikTok Clock and over the rainbows. In this episode, we're going to be heading off to the final main course. Yes, we're going to be having steak. No, not really. Well, I can believe that the character we're going to be playing has had a lot of steaks because we're going to be playing as Wario. Yes, this is going to sound really, really stupid. And I could just as easily play as another character and just get Wario caps in the level. But... Yeah. Uh, I actually feel like we should give Wario some more screen time, though, because I like Wario. He might play kind of terribly in this game, but, you know, I like his character. This is before he kind of became all about gas, like I said last time. Or a couple of videos ago, actually. Anyway, uh, let's just head on up, and let's do this. Wario cannot even triple jump up to the level. He cannot double jump up here. He needs to do a flip or a triple jump to get up here, and then follow it up with a single jump to be able to even make it up. Top class, this fat man, yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's hop on in. Welcome to Rainbow Ride. We're going to be starting off with Cruiser Crossing the Rainbow. Now, this is actually more of a Wario mission in this version of the game. It was not like this at all in the N64 version. In the N64 version, there were some things you kind of just had to deal with. Um, well, you'll see what I mean. Anyway, though, so I chose to play as Wario here because I want to be Wario at least a little bit more before this LP ends, because it's kind of coming up on the end. And at the same time, we're not really doing a whole lot of platforming or really much jumping or running in this level. Like, no, no, not really much running, not really much jumping. We're mostly just waiting around and dodging stuff while on this magic carpet. So that's kind of the main mechanic of Rainbow Ride is that you're riding on magic carpets and just trying to get around. It's, I don't know, it's... It's okay. It's not my favorite level mechanic. I mean, it's kind of traditional, like, for a later areas in Mario games to have rainbows in them, or just last areas in other games altogether. But, yeah, it's just kind of one of those things where it... I don't know. Th this level... Okay, my main issue with this level is that it can be really easy to fall off if you're not really all that great at Mario 64. And I was not when I was a kid. I, I, I was unable to get a few stars in the game no matter how I tried. And Rainbow Ride just kind of discouraged me because, despite how upbeat and happy it looks, it was just kind of one of those levels where you really, really had to wait a long time to get another chance at the part that kept screwing you up because of just how long you had to wait on these magic carpets not really doing much of anything. Honestly, even though I like the premise of the level, I feel like you're just not really doing enough. There are some missions in this where you're not riding magic carpets that I do like, but aside from those, I would say that this is probably where I would say Mario 64 is at its weakest in the way of level design. You know, it, it was their first try, so you can't really expect them to get everything right the first time, but that's just kind of how I feel about Rainbow Ride. Oh, uh, uh, I thought for sure I was going to get knocked off right there. Oh, God. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. I can't believe I've actually made it this far as Wario. I thought for sure this was going to be a terrible decision and that I was going to heavily regret it. Anyway, though, uh, anyone who's played Super Smash Bros. Melee recognizes the ship right here. This is the cruiser that is crossing that rainbow that we heard about. So, hop over this, hop over that. Oh, I actually almost jumped too far as Warrior right there, if you can believe that. All right, let's hop, hop. Uh-oh, okay. Back flip up. Oh, okay. That puts us right over here. I almost didn't make it. All right. All right, okay. Oh, I'm just kind of nervous. Anyway, once you are on the ship, you're going to have wind blowing you about. What you are meant to do! Oh, jeez, that was unintentionally a flip. <laughs> All right. Is turn metal. Because when you are metal, the wind does not affect you, and you can be like a Mistrevis and just walk on up there and take it. Like the boss that Mistrevis is. Next up, the big house in the sky. Mario's going to be doing some time at the big house. Yeah, well... Quite literally, actually. Anyway, so this is more of a Mario mission. This is kind of another thing that I don't really care for about Rainbow Ride, is that a lot of the character-specific missions, or when a character is best suited for a mission, their name will be in the title of said mission, or rather in the name of the star is more what the official term is. But in Rainbow Ride, that doesn't really happen. It's a lot of trial and error. And on top of that, the original version of Rainbow Ride was kind of a lot of trial and error as it is, though, because you kind of have a bunch of different directions you can go, and it's all guesswork as to where it's going to be, because obviously you did not have a map back in those days, so you couldn't really just look down at the map. As 
So I, I don't mean to rag on Rainbow, Road, ra Rainbow Ride. There's things that I legitimately do like about it. There's things that I legitimately do like about it. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's a horrible level. I mean, I don't mean to come off that way if I have been. I just that I kind of have a lot to say about this, though, because I have some very mixed feelings about it. That, that er, by the way, though, speaking of things that I do like in it, I can't wait for that mission off in the distance. That is so fun if you're good at it. Uh, that, that Those triangle ones, that, that all those triangles and pyramids and stuff. I don't know why, I just always like that mission. Any, anyway, though, that's not what we're doing here. We want to focus on getting to the big house, the one time that you actually want to go to prison. <laughs> Mario's done time at the big house before. Isle Delfino, because this is made after Sunshine. Well, at least this remake is made after Sunshine. The original is not, of course. I, Anyway, um, I, I don't know, actually. I don't really know when Mario 64 DS takes place in canon. Even though it's the same adventure as the N64 version, there's, like, new cutscenes, and, like, the story's changed up slightly to include Luigi, Wario, and, of course, Yoshi, because Yoshi's really, really instrumental to the plot of this game. It's just, it's one of those things that I've never really understood when this is supposed to take place in canon. Then again, why do I care about the canon in Mario? <laughs> it's like I'm a fanfic writer or something like that of just Mario games. Anyway, so... This is the big house that we were told about. You can do one of a few things. You can either ride this carpet up to the top, which takes quite a bit longer. You also have to dodge that fireplace multiple times as it's crossing around. It's gonna go up and down and all around the house. But instead, if you are Mario, you will have a much easier time just grabbing this power flower, following the rainbow upward, coming out of the roof. And there you go. There's your star. That's also the location of a crystal star. Not the Paper Mario 2 to variety. Coins amassed in an amazingly massive maze of mass. Yes, we're going to be doing eight red coins here. Okay. So getting this started, we're also going to be tackling 100 coins in this mission for, well, the simple reason that there's not really any other convenient mission to do it in. We're going to speed up right here. So I'm going to be taking some magic carpet rides as we go through here. You don't need to do this. Um, there are shortcuts that you can take that don't have you taking the magic carpets, which uh, I would like to go over. I just kind of want to mention in at least the first video of Rainbow Ride that there are shortcuts you can take that let you skip some of these carpet rides. Not all of them, but some. And, you know, I didn't get to show them in the first two missions, and I'm probably not going to get a good chance to show them here. So I just kind of want to mention in the first video that they're here so people aren't telling me that, you know, oh, you don't know about the shortcuts, do you? No, I do. I know that there's some fancy long jumping that you can do in a few areas. Well, not even really that fancy. They're not even hard to do shortcuts, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to mention that those are there. So, as we're going through here, we are going to be going to some unfamiliar territory. We are going to be going over to parts of Rainbow Ride that I haven't gone over in, you know, normal speed. And, you know, that might seem a little convoluted to some, but it really is the best mission to get coins in, just because you're going to have those eight red coins plus a really, really nice blue switch later on. You just need to get coins from some other sources because you can't get all 100 of them from just over here. So that's kind of my reasoning there. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna seem convoluted to some, and I can understand some people criticizing me for that. It's just that I really do believe that it is the best way that we can get 100 coins and do it fast and convenient. But um, with uh, all the explanation out of the way, we should have enough coins at this point. So I will see you guys over by that ma maze of red coins. Okay, 56 coins under our belt, or in our pockets, or somewhere in the general vicinity of our pants. We are over here at the 8 red coin maze. Alright, so we just want to go through here, want to jump ourselves around, jump ourselves around. Interesting way of putting it. Be very careful not to fall off. Uh, it's always like, in, in any like video game, especially like in Sonic games, I always feel like whenever like the character's like, be careful not to fall off here, or like, gotta be careful not to fall off, as soon as they say that out loud, I always fall off. Ah, uh, come on. Goomba. Goomba's running away from us. You know what? Screw him. I don't need his coin. Uh, you can afford to miss a few coins with the route that I'm using to go through this level, but yeah, I wouldn't advise missing very many of them. I especially wouldn't advise missing any of the coins on this blue switch, which requires you to wall jump. That's why I chose to be Mario for this, because in this version of the game, only Mario can wall jump. I know that Luigi can in other Mario games, but he cannot in this one. Uh, Bob and Buddy up here will activate the cannon for you. Now, you're not seeing this because I've actually played this mission a few times. I had trouble with it. After saying it was easy, of course. Um, that cannon is going to be up on the ship in Cruiser Crossing the Rainbow. So it's in an area that we've been to before. Um, nothing too complicated there. So up to 92 coins. I have plenty of leeway here. So let's grab that. Grab you. Grab you. And 
make the star appear in an area where I'm falling, so I have to go back up to get it, of course. All right, so only two more red coins to get. We got the 100 coin. Whoa, that was odd. Mario like skyrocketed. Now his legs are phasing through the floor. That's that's really, really glitchy. And by the way, I hope this recording doesn't fail now that I've actually saved over it. I know that I can just redo the mission and the star will just be blue with no other penalty, but it's just like, you know, it just kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth if I'm collecting a blue star for you guys. I don't know. It just always bugged me. Anyway, there is our eight red coins. There is our 100 coins. We got ourselves lots of coins. Grab our star. That is four out of nine stars in Rainbow Ride, or excuse me, a five out of a... Actually, I don't know how many of stars that is. I don't know. Um, I think it's four out of nine, counting the 100 coin mission. Uh, anyway, though, uh, I should mention while we are here that my star count is one more in this video than it has been in previous ones. I don't think I've brought this up yet. Uh, reason for that just simply being that I, well... The way that I do these videos is I don't save in the middle of them so that I can redo them, but the thing is, is that in one video I think I quit without saving because there was a star that I already had shown on camera that I had collected, but somehow I didn't have it in my save file for the past few videos, so that's why that's like that. But the star count is fixed now. We have only six more stars left to get. Coming down to the wire, next time on Super Mario 64 DS, we're going to be heading back into Rainbow Ride and finishing things up. See you guys then.